Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into something truly special. We're going to explore the depths of Bible verses and their meanings in a conversation that I hope will enlighten and inspire us all. So, let's get started. Sometimes, Bible verses are often quoted in isolation, and while they can still be powerful that way, understanding their full context can give us a much richer perspective. For instance, consider the verse, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope, from Jeremiah 29 verse 11. It's uplifting on its own, but when you read it in the context of the entire passage, it takes on even deeper meaning about God's plans and promises for us. Grasping the full essence of a verse involves understanding its position within the chapter, the book, and even the entire Bible. It's about seeing the bigger picture, the overarching narrative that it contributes to. This broader perspective can help us fully appreciate its message and apply it more meaningfully in our lives. For our discussion today, we've selected a few verses that center around the theme of a hope. These verses are not just deeply moving, but they also resonate strongly with our everyday experiences. We'll be exploring Romans 15 verse 13, Hebrews 11 verse 1, and Romans 5 verse 5 in depth. These verses were chosen because they offer a unique perspective on hope from different authors and contexts within the Bible. They explore hope in relation to faith, love, and the power of the Holy Spirit, providing a comprehensive understanding of this vital concept. Starting with Romans 15 verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. This verse is a powerful reminder of the source of our hope. God. In our daily lives, we often place our hope in things that are uncertain or temporary. But this verse encourages us to place our hope in God, who is constant and eternal. In practical terms, this verse can be a source of comfort during challenging times. When we're facing difficulties, we can remember that our hope comes from God, who is always with us and working for our good. This can give us the strength to persevere and the peace to trust in His plan. This verse also highlights the role of the Holy Spirit in our lives. The Holy Spirit is often described as a comforter or counselor, and this verse reminds us that through the Holy Spirit, we can experience the joy and peace that come from believing in God. So, in our daily lives, this verse encourages us to seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit, to listen to His voice, and to allow Him to fill us with hope. Next, let's look at Hebrews 11 verse 1. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. This verse reminds us that faith is not just about believing in what we can see, but also in what we cannot see. It's about trusting in God's promises, even when they haven't yet come to pass. In our daily lives, this verse can inspire us to live by faith, not by sight. When we're facing uncertainty or doubt, we can remember that faith is about confidence in God's promises and assurance of His presence. This can give us the courage to step out in faith, even when we can't see the path ahead. That's a great point, and I think it's also worth noting that this verse presents faith as a journey. It's not about having all the answers or seeing the entire path ahead. It's about taking one step at a time, trusting in God's promises, and finding assurance in His presence. So, in our daily lives, this verse encourages us to embrace the journey of faith, to be patient with ourselves, and to keep moving forward, even when the path is unclear. Finally, let's discuss Romans 5 verse 5. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. This verse assures us that our hope in God will not lead to disappointment. It's a promise that God's love has been poured into our hearts, giving us a hope that is secure and unshakable. 
In practical terms, this verse can be a source of encouragement when we're feeling discouraged or defeated. It reminds us that our hope is not based on our circumstances, but on God's love for us. This can give us the confidence to keep hoping, keep believing, and keep trusting in God's promises. Yes, and I love how this verse connects hope with love. It's a reminder that our hope is rooted in God's love for us, a love that has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. This love is not based on our performance or our worthiness, it's a gift that has been freely given to us. So, in our daily lives, this verse encourages us to receive this gift of love, to let it fill our hearts, and to let it inspire our hope. These verses have personally given us as hosts hope in many situations. I'd love to hear your reflections as well. Please share them in the comments below. Personal reflections can help us connect with the Bible in a deeper way. They allow us to see how its timeless truths are still relevant and applicable in our modern lives. I encourage you to reflect on these verses and see how they speak to your personal experiences. How can we apply these lessons in our daily lives? Here are a few practical tips. First, it is important to make it a habit to read and reflect on the Bible regularly. This doesn't have to be every day, but you could set aside a specific time each day for this, or you could find a reading plan or devotional guide that works for you. Second, try to apply the principles you learn from the Bible in your everyday life. For example, if you read a verse about forgiveness, think about how you can practice forgiveness in your relationships. If you read a verse about generosity, look for opportunities to be generous with your time, your resources, or your talents. Third, consider sharing what you learn with others. This could be through a Bible study group, a conversation with a friend, or even through social media. Sharing your insights can not only help others, but also deepen your own understanding. Those are great suggestions, and I would add, don't be discouraged if you don't understand everything right away. The Bible is a complex book, and it's normal to have questions or to struggle with certain passages. When you encounter something you don't understand, take it as an opportunity to dig deeper. You could do a word study, read a commentary, or consult with a pastor or mentor. Applying these lessons is an ongoing process. It involves not just understanding the verses intellectually, but living them out in our daily actions, decisions, and attitudes. It's about letting these truths shape us and guide us in our journey of faith. Absolutely, and remember, the goal is not to be perfect, but to grow. Each step you take in understanding and applying the Bible is a step towards becoming more like Christ. So, keep exploring, keep asking questions, and keep living out your faith. We've covered a lot today, and I hope this discussion has given you a deeper understanding of these Bible verses and their meanings. Remember, the Bible is a rich resource that's always open for exploration. So, keep reading, keep exploring, and keep the conversation going. Absolutely, and remember, Engaging with the Bible is not just about gaining knowledge, but about transforming our lives. As we apply these truths in our daily lives, we can experience the hope, peace, and joy that come from a deeper relationship with God. If you enjoyed this video and want to be part of more discussions like this, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay hopeful and inspired. God bless.